Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. The reason why so many of us may not rise to that dimension that God desires is because we compromise on the revelation and the reality of a life of true holiness let me tell you something sin has very severe consequences hellfire only being the last but there are many other consequences you will go through here and now and I mean I had a little time with God and you know when God gives words like this I'm not the preacher who fools myself carrying words for people I'm the first when God speaks like this I lock up myself and I cry and I flog it out with God you are a pastor here don't just be a messenger be a benefactor of the things that God is communicating are we together? That attitude of pride that makes us think this message is for the people. I don't do like that. When God gives a word, it is first for me. First, even before the congregation. Are we together? Sin is a reproach to any destiny. No matter how you want to play around it, it will lead you to the same thing. Listen, let me tell you. God is not a herbalist. God is not a mantra or a genie that you use is not a hexa spell that you use there must be the genuineness of a life I didn't just say a nature a life of true holiness we hide behind the fact that oh holiness is just a nature let me tell you there is both the nature and the life of genuine practical holiness Isaiah 59 thank you Jesus Isaiah 59 are you getting blessed already when it stings you, you receive it as a prophetic word from God and you rise. You don't reject a word when it stings you. When it stings you, it's a sign that there is a spirit that is taking advantage of that dimension. And God wants to set you up. Isaiah 59 verse 1 and 2. I'd like us to read it, please. We'll hurry up those inside and outside. 1, 2, read. Behold! The Lord's hand is not shortened that it cannot save. Uh -huh. Neither is his ear heavy that it cannot hear. What's the limitation? Have separated between you and your God. And your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. This is not a parable. This is a reality. And let me tell you, anybody who wants to do business with God, please hear me. You must cultivate a genuine appetite for staying by God's standards. Your humanity notwithstanding. Are we together? Now please don't feel condemned. I'm not condemning you. But God is challenging you. If you want power with God, a lifestyle of genuine holiness is non-negotiable oh but apostle you don't know what has happened around my life that's why you are here you are welcome that's why you are here
God specifically spoke to me, and now please, um, this is by no means insulting anybody, you know, and all of that. I know that there are all kinds of people here, but the danger of immorality and the filthiness of the flesh, write it down. The danger of immorality and the filthiness of the flesh. The filthiness of the flesh is not just maybe immorality as we know. The danger. Now, until you really know God and stay with God, you may not understand the spiritual consequences. Fornication. Adultery for those who are married. And all kinds of immoral things. The Spirit of God spoke to me that these things will short circuit the genuine grace of God upon our lives. Now I know that this is painful, but if you really came to meet God, this is the key tonight. A lifestyle of genuine holiness. Proverbs 28 verse 13. Proverbs 28 verse 13. There is power in admitting your wrong and pouring your heart before God. Foolish people have misled and misguided the church into that understanding that God just forgives by default. Be careful what you hear. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Be careful what you hear. Be careful how you are taught. It says, he that covereth his sin shall what? Please read your Bible. He that covereth his sin shall... It didn't say he that sins. I read a scripture that really surprised me. Hosea chapter 5 verse 15. We are talking about the first requirement. You want to see an upgrade in grace. You want to see God honor you. You want to receive testimonies. A lifestyle of true holiness. Hosea 5.15 Alright, I want us to read. It says, I will go and return to my place till they acknowledge and seek my face. It says, in their affliction they will seek me. Because inevitably they will attract to their life's affliction. And it says, I will return to my place. Because the Bible says, the word of God does not return until it is accomplished. But it says that there is a mechanism that can stop the word from working in the life of a man. It says, I will return to my place until they what? They acknowledge. When you have the humility to acknowledge that you need help, you will get help from God. But if you allow yourself to dance in all this rubbish that people bring that makes themselves comfortable. I'm telling you this. Look, let me tell you. You see, when someone is talking to you, find out first whether there is a measure of the result the person is trying to propose to you. Are we together? There are people who know nothing about the anointing, yet they say so much they make a lot of noise and, and, and they, they mock the body over the anointing. The anointing is a priceless commodity. A lifestyle of genuine holiness. Flee immorality, fornication, adultery if you are married. Hallelujah. The filthiness of the flesh. You can't be smoking and prophesying. Something is wrong. Are we together? Now, I'm not condemning you. That's why we are here. This is a family. But, but we must deal with it. You can't swallow all kinds of things. And codeine and all. It's called the filthiness of the flesh. If that price is too much for power, then forget about it. Forget about genuine anointing. I will. It says I will return to my place till they acknowledge. Two scriptures. And then we'll move to the next session. 
Galatians 5 verse 19 to 21 is God speaking to someone very quickly please media help us Galatians 5 we have a lot to do tonight I want you to maximize this night and that's the first instruction from God to all of us I like us to read now please give us give us amplified media can we have amplified is it possible one to read now the doings practices of the flesh are clear obvious they are what what's number one in the list hold on i'm just i'm just trying to let me tell you something i wish i were not the person who was going to talk about this thing but you see immorality is not just an act immorality is a spirit it does something to your spirit man are we together and so when you find out that this is a challenge in your life assuming that it will be solved by itself is a dangerous thing you run to god are we together you run like the deer panting after the water brooks and he lists all of them first john 1 verse 9 the last scripture on that wise one to read everyone that we have seen and confess our sins his what hold on his when there is a condition there is a condition it says if we confess our sins um you can go back to amplify god is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness in fact verse verse 8 when you read from verse 8 um can we just back up one verse it says if we say we have no sin we deceive ourselves and the truth is not in us then the next verse says what if we confess confess is not these religious things that people do around but let me tell you something there are times you need to stay with god that's why i encourage retreats write it if you are writing look if you are a christian i am personally convinced that any christian who does not have periodic seasons of retreat will never be able to last retreats are powerful times of self-examination and exposition it doesn't mean you have to do anything bad the light of his glory comes upon you and god steps the bar and blesses you and anoints you the issue of sin must be dealt with how do we solve the problem of sin number one you must be born again you must be born again there are many church goers there are heads of departments there are pastors there are so many people who have not given their lives to jesus christ please let me tell you something trying to receive something from a god you do not want to commit your life to is self-deceit are we together there are people here for instance who have come they may not be ready to accept the lordship of jesus but they want the healing that flows from him the ultimate solution to the sin problem is a genuine encounter with jesus christ are we together the bible says this is the testimony that God has given us eternal life, right? And it says this life is in his son. It says he who has the son. You cannot have life by ignoring the son. It is by embracing the son that you have eternal life. Say amen. You must be born again. The next key is in John 8.34. John 8.34. And then Romans 6.23. I just want to deal with this because it came very seriously upon my spirit. And I believe it's a challenge for us. Now, I want you to read it. John 8.34. Verily, verily, I say unto you, whoever commits sin is a war. That means under the dominion. 
It didn't say whoever commits sin is a bad person. But that you have allowed the dominion of sin over your life. 6 23 of Romans. 6 23. Romans 6 23. One to read. Hold on. Change the word wages to salary. Are you ready? One, two, read. Again. If you work for me and I don't pay you, am I a good person? Are we together? If you work for me, what do you expect at the end of the month? Even if there is strike, you expect that there is a, a what? So the Bible says, whosoever commits sin is a slave to sin. Meaning sin is his master. And the Bible says, that man pays. What does he give? Death there does not just mean ceasing to live. Affliction. Are we together? Woes. Curses. All kinds of things that can come upon a man's life. And impede his progress. The salary of sin is death. But it says, but the gift of God is what? Eternal life through Jesus our Lord. Lift your voice in one minute and say, Lord, grace, grace, grace. If you are not praying this prayer, you are really arrogant. Pray this prayer from the depth of your heart. Grace, oh God. Shabarakatabariata. The vicissitudes and the challenges. As a pastor, pray. As a married man, pray. Don't say I'm married. As a married woman, pray. There are spirits that hunt only married people. Grace. Kaba shabarata kata. Zekete lekete bakoroto subadabaladaba. I mortify my body by the grace of God as an instrument of righteousness. Pray. Don't let the devil condemn you. But please cry unto God. Say, Lord, I need your power genuinely in my life. I need your power. I need your glory genuinely in my life. Fresh unction. Hallelujah. And please hear me. In case you are here and there is any sickness, any disease that came as a result of sin, I have good news for you. Our God is still a merciful God. You hear what I'm saying? Our God is still a merciful God. Savior. He can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever. Author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus conquered the grave. Write this down. Practice periodic self-examination especially when you think everything is all right with you listen to a secret that i give you practice periodic i don't care who you are practice periodic self-examination self-examination number two send out of your life unapologetically People whose atmospheres cause you to walk in sin. Roommates, you must not stay in their room. Hear what I'm telling you. I'm giving you a big secret. Send them away. I'm staying with my uncle. That's why. Stand up. Let me tell you, if you get out of that house trusting God, the God of your salvation will arise for you. Hallelujah. A guy who asks you out, sister, and says, while you are thinking about answering him, you should be sleeping with him first before you decide whether you go out with him or not. 
Don't insult him. Run away and cut the spirit. Koinonia is quiet tonight. You want power, you want miracles. God is not a herbalist. In the name of Jesus Christ. Let's be sincere with ourselves. If you really want to see the outstretched arm of God, you have to cry and say, God, help me. And in case you are here arrogantly saying, I'm free, yet, yet, the Bible says, let him that thinks take heed. Immorality, smoking, drinking. It's sad that you have to say these things. But there are people, we have all kinds of explanations. The alcohol, the Bible said in the New Testament, the Greek word for wine is alcoholic. I don't care what justification you bring to be a drunkard. A drunkard is a period. The Bible says wine is a mocker. I take it once in a while. You will suffer once in a while. Because it's when your breakthrough is coming. That the temptation for liquor will come. Are we together? How about pornography? How about masturbation? Oh, I don't sleep around. It's a spirit. Why am I saying these things? These are the things that authorize the power of darkness. Please! Don't say, especially this masturbation thing and pornography. I'm not condemning you. But don't ever, if anybody has preached to you and has said it's all right, Joshua Selman is telling you it's a, it's, a, it's a cancer of the spirit. That's why you find out your prayer life dries. No matter what happens. But I'm still healing the sick. Continue. Are we together? I want and I'm trusting God that there will be maximum breakthrough. But we have to be serious. Mean business with God. Mean business with God. The allergy sends me money once in a while. Please delete his number tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. The military officer, it's not every time. It's three times a year. Delete his number even before we start ministry. Nevertheless, the foundation of the Lord standed sure. Having this seal, the Lord knoweth them that are his. And let every man that named the name of Christ depart. Psalm 66 verse 18. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart, the Lord would not have heard me. There is something that can make a man's prayer to not reach heaven. If I had cherished iniquity in my heart. So when we begin to pray tonight, I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, in this miracle service, this addiction is over. I have to end it. Are we together? I burn all my MBs. I buy my phone and I spend all my MB watching nonsense. Naked photos, all kinds of things. No, it's a spirit. See, anything you cannot control is a spirit, including food. Don't think I'm just talking. I'm, I'm going to come. Everybody has a slice in this pie. There must be something that relates to you. I don't have a problem with women. Food. You can't fast. Because of food, many of us would rather remain in the same spiritual level forever. Let me tell you, gluttony is as bad as fornication. I hear what I'm saying. Yes. Yes. You can talk about true power that puts situations and circumstances in command and your entire life. Do you know there are people that eat whether or not they are hungry once they see it. The same way a man sees a woman and cannot resist her. You see food and you look, ah, whose own is this? You put one bones, you add another one. You are eating beef. until it finishes. There's no rest. It's an urge. You need help. You need help. Are we together? And all kinds of variations of addictions. Those who sleep with little children alone. 
put a naked adult woman, they will pass as if they didn't see her. Children. Men and men. Women and women. My name is Joshua Selman. Let me tell you, if you don't deal with these things, you will never go far. You will rise up as usual. But ask Samson. I will arise as before. And all of a sudden, his glory Am I condemning you? No. Will I be quiet about it? No. Because you must receive something tonight. So that you will not be healed and delivered and the demons even mock you. Before prayer, they just jump out and wait for you. That's what happens to a lot of people. Is it not in your Bible? I'm going to share with you on that. When a spirit leaves a man, what does it do? It leaves him forever. The Bible says Satan departed from Jesus for a season. Came back again when there was another pressure. And Jesus started negotiating. Mass, Father, if it be thy will, take this cup. Can we negotiate another way? But he overcame. He said, nevertheless, not my will. Hallelujah. Please, I want us to be sincere with ourselves tonight. As we cry before God. I know what I've said is very uncomfortable to many of us. But this is the key. When you pray, you clear out that way. Satan does not like what I'm preaching. It takes a lot of courage to preach what I'm telling you. But that's the key. Are we together? But I think I'm okay. No, opportunity has not yet been created. So instead of sitting down to say, I hope my roommate is hearing. Uh -uh. There's no roommate there's no, I hope my husband is hearing. God, I, God, apostle, God bless you. This stupid man, thank God he came for koinonia. I'm talking to you. There is no pointing fingers. You see, that spirit that exempts you from the word of God, uh, that sense of self-righteousness that makes you feel, I am okay. Talk to Ejimi or talk to Kenny or promise is the same spirit that destroys people. I'd like you to lift up your voice in one minute. Koinonia cried before the God of heaven and said, Lord, it must be broken. Addictions must be broken. I don't care what you read in the internet about them. That alcoholism must be broken. I can't keep destroying my body. Pornography, masturbation. I need you, I need you. Every hour, I need thee. Come, let's be now, my Savior. I come to thee. I need you, I need thee. Every hour, shake it, take it, take it, take it, take it, come bless me now, my Savior. I come. My hope is built on nothing less than Jesus and righteousness. Pray, shake it, take it, take it, take it. I've come to call that spirit a liar. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All of the ground is sinking sand. All of the ground is sinking sand. Hallelujah. Listen. Look at me. Some of you can do anything for money. If you must sleep with an animal for money, you would do it. For as long as there is money tied to it, you throw away your Christianity. If it's money, no problem. As long as you will give me money. Someone sent me a text. Uh, was it yesterday or day before yesterday? I was in the middle of a very serious, intense prayer time and then his text came. And he said they wanted to give him a job. But they said he should give like advance. Like pay some money. 
so that they can process it. And I told him, I said, don't you do that. You cannot mix. You can't, if you are paid for it, where then is the place of God? Please don't say I'm not a Nigerian. I'm not a stupid person. I know what I'm saying. Whatever God cannot do in my life, oh, let no more do it. He said, lest you will say I made Abraham rich. Who told you God is not able? You see, all these carnal things we keep doing, we edge God out. When it comes to real issues, we act as if God is not alive. Oh, if God cannot do it, let it not be done. No. I want you to pray. And say, Lord, whatever I do not have discipline for, break it out of my life. Pray. Pray. Shabakataya. The secret for fire in a ministry. The secret for fire in a family. Is the secret for fire in a life. It's a painful reality. But it's a key that will take you high. Habarata gaparuto sobrendi gela pora susia bahata. Kapada kataya. Grace. Break every habit. Pray. I break any challenge. I call you by your name. Pray. Masturbation, you are a spirit. Pornography, you are a spirit. Gluttony, you are a spirit. Smoking, drinking. Grace tonight. Grace from the throne. No excuses. No excuses. No excuses. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last prayer point on that. Listen. For many people, I have found out that we are not interested in paying the price to create the atmosphere. Everybody say atmosphere. Are we together? You are a brother, anybody, any sister can hop into your house any day, any time, anyhow. Are we together? Lie down on your bed loosely and carelessly. You don't care. 2 a.m. in the night, still in your house. What are you doing? We're in a relationship. Nonsense. You are not the first to get married. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. You must create discipline. If you are friends with a roommate and the roommate is bringing boys all the time to your room, negotiate. And brother can say, if that agreement, if you cannot reach a consensus like that, find a way of getting out of that place. Someone cannot be sleeping with a lady you are there watching. You will only watch for one month. I assure you. Atmospheres. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes. There are things that can be discussed on phone. Discuss it on phone. When we were staying together, as Jimmy will tell you, when we were staying together, as years ago, there was an unwritten rule. Let me tell you, these are some of the rules that helped us. God is my witness. My younger sister is here. My younger sister has never slept in my house till today. My blood younger sister. Only two people have stayed in my house. One, a Jimmy, and one, my younger brother, the, the day he came. Am I stupid? No. Am I a fool? No. It's called atmosphere. It's the price for atmosphere. Someone comes to your room with visitors and says, please, there's a little birthday party. It looks like you are busy today. Can you give us the room? You thought they just celebrated birthday and drank beer and smoked and left. They left spirits. They left influences. Yes, I know what I'm saying. You get into that room, I assure you, 
to take the grace of God for you to connect again. How about all kinds of empty movies? A lot of us believers have all kinds of compartments on our phone. There is compartment A, gospel. Gospel means anything that reminds you of heaven. And then there is the B part. When you want to socialize. Look, choose ye this day whom you will serve. Choose ye when? Otherwise, I don't care whether they dip you in one gallon of oil. I assure you, you will fall down, you will stand up. Satan will be waiting for you there. You will have dreams that will press nonsense out of you. Shout Jesus, shout Abraham, shout any name you know. Nothing will happen. That's what makes us powerless. He told Gideon, said, why have we not seen the miracles of our fathers? He said, take away the idols. My room cannot be a place for somebody to keep beer. Don't take it, but let me use your fridge to make it cold. What are you doing? It's exactly the same thing. Please pray one minute and say, Lord, the price and the unashamedness to create an atmosphere. An atmosphere. Lift your voice. Pray. The price. My, my room, my house, my office cannot be a place for rubbish. When they want to bribe, it's not in my office. The meeting will not be held in my office. When they want to fake a miracle, it will not be on my pulpit. Pray, pastors. Don't let any dumb dick and Harry just arise and hold the mic on your pulpit and do all kinds of jamborees. Shekatakaparata. I pay the price to create the atmosphere to host the presence of God. Pray, Koinonia. It's part of the meeting. This is already someone's deliverance. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Holy, only, holy, holy. Holy, holy, holy. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful, faithful, faithful. Faithful, 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 faithful. Faithful, faithful, Do this and you will see the power of God in your life in a way that you'll be surprised. Imagine that you are sleeping. And all that is playing is a powerful prophecy. Let me tell you what will happen. You will continue listening to it in your dreams. I guarantee you. And that one is powerful because your body that limits the spirit is sleeping. Ah, you will access anointings. You will wake up under a strong presence. I know what I'm saying. Number two, let's hurry up. The second challenge or the second key, I think the rain is settled. So as many, if it's not an interruption, please um, arrange them outside. If they can still squeeze in, that's all right. Number two, let's hurry up, please. The reality of demon spirits and the character of their operation, write it down, is something you cannot ignore and prevail in this life. The reality of... Demon spirits alongside the character of their operation. The Bible again and again cautions us and says that we should not be ignorant of his devices. Satan has a way he operates. There is a way, there is a system 
that Satan operates. Anybody who ignores the reality of demon spirits alongside an, an insight into the character of their operations will pay the price severely. Let's look at two scriptures very quickly. Luke chapter 4, please, verse 14 and 18. Media help us. Luke 4, 14 and 18. The Bible says Jesus took the scroll, right? He, the messianic prophecy. And um, go to verse 15, please. Next verse. 15. And he taught in their synagogues being glorified of all 16. You are reading down to 18. And he came to Nazareth where he had been brought up. And as his custom was, he went into the synagogue on the Sabbath day and stood up for to read. Right? What did he read? Then it was given to him. It was delivered unto him the book of the prophet Esaias. And when he had opened the book, he found a place where it was written. The Messianic prophecy. 18. The spirit of the Lord God is upon me. Because he hath anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. To bind up the broken hearted. To preach what? Deliverance to the captives. There are people under captivity. The reality of demon spirits in our world and the fact that they influence people, Christians and non-believers alike, should not be ignored. Are demons real? The Bible says so. Is Satan real? The Bible says so. Do they oppress people? Yes. Luke chapter 10 verse 19. Behold, I give you power, authority. The word there is exousia. Behold, I give you power, Luke 10, 19, to tread upon serpents and scorpions and over all the power of the enemy. So there is the enemy and the enemy has a measure of power. Are we together? And he says, and nothing shall by any means harm you. Look at me, please. Look at me, Koinonia, look at me. Every time Jesus commissioned people, the first thing he told them to do was to cast out demons. Not heal the sick. Cast out demons. Right? When you read, um, let's look at a, a scripture. Mark, Mark 6. We'll read verse 7, then we'll run to 13. Quickly, Mark 6, 7, 13. And he called unto him the 12. Read on, please, it's projected. And did what? And began to send them forth two by two. He gave them power to do what? Clean spirit or holy spirit. Spirits that are out of the influence of the Holy Spirit. They are called unclean spirits. They are everywhere like the air we breathe. They are responsible for the anger problem in people. Are we together? They are responsible for the barrenness in people. They are responsible for delay and retrogression. They are the ones who appear to you in dreams and sleep with you. They are the ones who appear and cause miscarriages. They are called unclean spirits. Now, regardless of the theological stratification, they are still spirits. The Bible says, for we wrestle not against flesh and blood, right? But against what? Principalities. Uh -huh. Powers. Rulers of darkness. And spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. They are all called unclean spirits. And there are three ways. That their, their ministry or their life found expression in the earth. Number one is covenants. It's the most powerful way demon spirits advance their cause. Covenants. Number two is ignorance. Ignorance of the precepts and the principles of God. The light shines in darkness. So when there is no light, darkness remains. Are we together? And then number three, disobedience. 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 Demon spirits are real. A Christian cannot be possessed, but he sure can be influenced. Absolutely. Absolutely. Galatians 5, when you read from verse 16, this I say then, 
walking in the spirit and the Bible, he was talking to the Galatian church. People who had already encountered Christ. Are we together? But this is what he says. This I say then that you walk in the spirit so that you will not gratify what? The desires of the flesh. Then he says the flesh lusted after the spirit. The spirit after the flesh. Two of them are consistently contending. What does that tell you? That you're a Christian does not mean that these demon spirits will not attempt to influence, manipulate, or wage control over your life. There's nothing embarrassing when a Christian is delivered. The operation looks like possession, but it's not possession. And now this is the balance. I'm going to create a balance. Because there are all kinds of prophetic ministries. Because they do not have a sound word base. Right? And let me tell you something. Even the prophetic and the supernatural is limited by the recipient's understanding of the operation of the word. Are we together? I can be a genuine prophet of God, but because I do not have a sound understanding of scripture, I can look at this beautiful lady looking at me and see a spirit behind her. And based on my interpretation of that vision, I call her a witch. Are we together? And then I fabricate a strategy and I say, Oga, oh the solution to dealing with this, your wife, seeing that she's a witch, is to leave her. So that is my that is my advice based on my limitation. It may not be that I saw a wrong vision. But because my vision was not dealt with on the strength of the word of God. For correct interpretation. It's not enough to see. Understandest what thou readest. He was looking. He was not understanding. Demons are real. They are here in this place tonight. Are we together? They came with many people. They came with many families. Many well-meaning people carried them. Our job is to separate you from them. That's what deliverance is. It's a separation. Let me tell you something. In the most authentic definition, deliverance is salvation. Right? The most authentic, in its purest form, deliverance is salvation. It's a complete translation. So every other thing you do, is in support of that understanding. Demons are real. Let me tell you. You will be surprised to find out. How many things have not been working in your life. And can be credited to the ministry of these wicked spirits in our lives. There were many things in my life that didn't used to work for a long time. I tried. I did all I knew to do. But when I realized that. You see let me tell you something. Because demon spirits have an advantage. Hear me. Because demon spirits have an advantage of the realm of the spirit. When you try to fight in the flesh, you will be defeated forever. Every time, at all times, regardless of what you try to do. Someone promises to help you. You go to bed, a stranger appears again. The person gets up in the morning and tells you, I can't remember telling you what I said. Please get out of my office. Something made them do so. The same way there is an anointing that can call a destiny helper into your life. And you say, sorry, I don't need any help again. You say, God told me to do it. I don't like you, but I have to do it. Because something, may that thing, whatever thing it is, it must come upon you today. Yeah. Where men arise to make your life easy. Hallelujah. Demon spirits are real. Don't be embarrassed when you find out that these spirits are leaving you. Rejoice. And listen, please, don't just fall down and stand up and check yourself and feel embarrassed and then go back. No. And by the way, it has nothing, deliverance has nothing to do with falling down and manifesting. It has everything to do with the word of God prevailing over your person and casting out every nonsense that is roaming around your life. So you may be standing quietly and they are flying out of you, flying out of your destiny. When that, I'm teaching you this so that you will know what to expect and know how to appropriate it. So that when you leave this place, you now expect that that door that refused to open now that you know a spirit caused it, you expect it to open. So you start saying in the name of Jesus, I expect favor. I expect favor. A woman who has not been able to give birth, has not been able to take in. Husband is well, 
wife is well, both of you go to the hospital. They say there's nothing wrong as far as they know. All right, take it, madam. She cannot take it. Plants don't need consultation to take it. Animals don't need consultation. As haphazard as they are, the law still works. Because demons are not interested in the animals. They are interested in human beings. They are interested in your destiny. That's why they will refuse that you will not get that child. But the devil is a liar tonight. What of all those, all those lumps and all those nonsense that grow around your body? Lumps in your breast, lump in your stomach, lump every part. Movements around your body. What do you think is called? The Holy Spirit does not move in people in a foolish way. The Holy Spirit is, is, is he's an intelligent spirit. He does not oppress people. Do you know there are people here who cannot sleep? Young people, you, you, you watch them and they are still awake. Because the moment they close their eyes is a nightmare. Demons are real. The last key, number three. That the Lord will have us tonight to know. All of us must possess this if we really need result. It's your faith. Hmm. Your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith, your faith. Your faith. My faith reaches out to you. And I believe your word. Listen, let me tell you something about faith. Most of us, our understanding about faith is just for reception. But faith is also an instrument of defense. Ephesians 6 verse 16. Therefore holding forth the shield. Because there are times between prophecy and manifestation you will need to stand. Faith becomes the weapon you use to shield yourself. That when another word comes and says, Kai, can you imagine Pastor Alpha, is this thing really working? And then the shield of faith, you lift it. And he said, no way. I know that my Redeemer liveth is working. If it's working, show me the evidence. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. He says, above all, taking the shield of what? Faith. Wherewith ye shall be able to quench, quench, quench the fiery darts of the enemy. Listen, faith is the result of an understanding. Faith is the result of an understanding. It produces persuasion it's from the Greek word pistis. Conviction based on an understanding. He says, but I know whom I have believed. And I am persuaded. Just like I'm persuaded that someone's testimony will turn around. I mean, somebody's life will turn around tonight. I am persuaded. Listen. It's not just what you do that produces result, but the faith that backs what you do. The conviction that backs what you do. Faith is powerful. The Bible says by it, the elders obtain a good report. So if you need a good report, you will need that faith to obtain it tonight. And there are many of us who are trusting God for good reports. You want to change the doctor's report. You want to change every kind of nonsense report that the devil has brought. It will take faith. It will take faith. Conviction. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Shout it everyone. Say in the name of Jesus. I believe in the power of God. I believe that nothing is impossible for God. And tonight. God. Through his spirit. Will birth my testimony. I believe that with all my heart. I came in. There were people in Abuja. My Bible uh, at the back of my Bible is full of all kinds of people's prayer requests. You cannot imagine people dropping their prayer requests. Apostle, please as you are going back, can we drop our prayer requests? All the way. Because there is a God that answers prayers. Please hear me, Koinonia. 
tonight like we prayed earlier on i want you to get angry with the situation in your life you see i cannot make you tired of it i can only encourage you he said woe to them who are at ease in Zion. the day you are tired you will change let today be that day rise up on your feet everyone. Go ahead and pray in the spirit. Lord, my time has come. Are you praying, Koinonia? Lord, this health thing, I can't remain sick forever. No. This SS genotype, this HIV, this cancer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just one more prayer point and then we'll begin to minister. I'd like you to say, Lord, grace to not doubt you tonight. Please lift your voice and pray. Don't be a doubter. Lord, I believe in you. Lord, I believe in you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me add one more prayer point in our lives. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, whatever must come upon my life for me to move forward. Hold on. Let it come. And whatever must leave me. I have no loyalty to you. I don't care where you came from. Tonight I part ways with you forever. Lift your voice and pray. anointing that must land upon my life today. Every grace, every spirit, every dimension tonight you must come upon my life and everything that must leave me. I'm tired of any luggage upon my destiny. Koinonia, are you praying? Those online, make sure you are praying. Right where you are, at your home, so wherever you are streaming from. Hallelujah. 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 One of the graces I'm trusting God to come upon our life is grace for accelerated advancement. Listen, listen. There are many of us, our pace of movement is slow. You can't look at your life and say, A, B, C has happened within this time. It's not a good testimony. I'd like you to pray and say, Lord, I must move. Oh, I must move. There must be advancement. The overflows. Make sure you are praying. God is sharing you where you are. Thank you. 
Yes, oh God. I'm parting ways forever. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. Listen. You must contend with prophecy. Oh, this bad luck upon my life must leave. I was not cursed like that. Even if it's a curse, it must go. Are you hearing what I'm saying? It's a war unto them who are at ease in Zion. There is enough function tonight to deliver the result you desire, except you are not interested. If you truly are interested and you are angry enough, tonight is not the time to spectate and pinch and gist. Anybody does that kind of thing for you tonight, know that the spirit is using that person. You can't come here and waste your time. Hallelujah. I'm about to pray for you. I'm about to speak. Please, I want you to pray. Mention every negative thing that you know has happened, patterns in your life that you know must change and say, God arise for me tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Lord, it must go over my family. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now listen. 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 Before God deals with our lives, we are going to be praying first and foremost that God will deal with our families. See, let me tell you something. It's not your fault that you came from that family. But it's your fault if you allow what came from there to destroy you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Believe what I'm saying, oh Koinonia. Believe what I'm saying. I love you too much to not lie to you. There are, there are ties and strongholds that are stopping people from rising. Lift your hands, everybody. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every song shall be broken. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Now listen. Don't get too used to the fact that it's just about speaking and then people fall under the anointing and come be serious while prayers are going. Because it is at the word of God they respond. They are listening to me, I'm speaking. But until the command is given, there is nothing to confirm. I want to pray. Many of you will be very surprised. Open up your spirit. It's time for God to visit you and visit your families. Hallelujah. Lift your hands, please. My God. God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing in the realm of the spirit pointed arrows. Listen. Pointed arrows. Pointed arrows. And on those arrows I see like papers placed on the arrows containing the names of people, names of families, names of territories. That's what the Lord is showing me right now. And we're going to pray. Listen. The power of God is going to come very strongly upon people. It's, it's not just you but your family are we together and once that happens know that the time has come you pray it and declare that deliverance lift your hands I want to pray now father you brought us here 
to change lives change testimonies hallelujah hallelujah God is giving me a very crazy instruction just lift your left hand be stupid I've started my stupidity just follow me quietly just lift your left hand up to God and let me do the speaking you don't have to say anything please all those who I'm going to speak to now that the power of God comes on them let's begin to have them outside Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray right now. My God, I'm seeing so many people. I don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just responding to the Spirit. Lord, you ask us to lift our left hands up. Whatever that means, there are people. I see fire right now. It's going to begin to come on people. Lord, the moment that comes on their family, let there be massive deliverances. At the count of four, that will happen now. One, two, shaka patakata, three, four. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out right now. Inside, outside. I'm seeing the spirit of God. There's fire moving to families. Please let's save time. Shabatakarataya. At the word of the Lord, I place the word of the Lord upon that situation of witchcraft inside outside is over is over is over is over i come with a word of prophecy i prophesy as i've been commanded miracles deliverances for families enough is enough oh god bring them there are so many people outside so many people outside all the overflows i see miracles it's like fire it's like fire hallelujah keep your hands down i'm seeing fire and it's going to come upon the heads of people and the lord is saying it is still the deliverance lord where are they where are they where are they right now all over the congregation i prophesy it like fire i see like an eruption a volcanic eruption coming on the heads of people the heads of people shake it where you are the fire will meet you there where you are where you are The enemy has done this. We command every havoc. We command every havoc. I tell you, I see deliverance for many families. Say after me in the name of Jesus. Say in the name of Jesus. I command every spirit. Causing the tragedies. In my family. Be exposed now. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. The light shines in the darkness. The light shines in the darkness. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. As you are praying, the power of God will come upon you. Be exposed. The spirits eating up finances, eating up joy, eating up peace. Kapatatata, ekerato soto basiata. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I see written on this pulpit altars. And I want to pray. An altar 
is a platform erected by men that grants access to spiritual operations. Altars, 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 altars. At the count of seven, I tell you many people, this is not just families now. One, two, three, four, get ready. Five, six, seven, right now. Right now, right now, right now. Altars, catch fire. Altars, catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Catch fire. Shake it, take a poro sotoba. Lift your hands, everybody. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. The Lord is asking me to call situations. The moment I call them, all those who are victims of it, the power of God will come upon them. Please, we are going to be fast. Right now, I pray the spirit of failure upon people. I'm seeing it. Lord, wherever they are, right now, at the count of three, let there be an exposition. One, two, three. Go, go, go. Failure. 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 Causing failure in lives. Failure in destinies. Failure in ministries. Failure in business. Failure in academics. Every form of failure. Fire is coming on it right now. Fire is coming on it right now. Inside, outside. No, you can't stand it. It's your deliverance. It's your word. It's your prophecy. It's your word. That's why you came. Failure. Lift your hands, everybody. I'm seeing chains. And the Lord is saying, let delay leave my people. That's what I'm hearing. Lord, where are those whose lives have been under one spot? Inside and outside. At the count of three, I like you to shout, Jesus, delay is leaving now. One, two, three. Go, 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 go. Delay, delay, delay of all kinds, of all kinds. Harato Soto Peketesh. Delay. Delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. All kinds of delay. Be broken now. Now. Let her go in the name of Jesus. Let her go. I break that chain now. 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 That chain of delay. That chain of delay is broken over your life in the name of Jesus Christ. God is breaking delay. Listen. Hallelujah. I've prayed this prayer in this place before and the Lord is asking me to pray it again. That the destinies of men can be exchanged. So that you are walking. But you are not living your destiny. It's like you are living another person's life. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Please take this prayer seriously. It will do wonders in your life. Lift your hands. Inside and outside. And you watch what will happen now. Lord I pray. My God. 
I'm telling you, all I'm seeing in this place is fire. Any man here, any woman whose destiny has been exchanged so that the life you are living is not your blueprint right now. Let the exchange, let there be another exchange, another exchange, another exchange. The power of God is coming on people right now, right now, right now. Release their destiny. Release that mother's destiny now. Release that mother's destiny now. My goodness. It's your destiny. It's your destiny. You can't leave another person's script. Every witchcraft. Every manipulation. I curse it now. I curse it now. I curse it now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is asking me to pray for people with strange movements in their body. I tell you, I feel fire. It's like people are literally bathing in fire. Strange movements. I want to pray. There are many ladies, many mothers under this category. Right now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Every stranger, there is a lady, you feel a physical snake, physical snake moving on your body. But right now in Jesus' name, at the count of three, fire from the throne, fire from the throne. I command those spirits roaming around the bodies of God's people. One, two, three, go, go, go. Go, go. Go now. Leave their bodies. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Strange objects. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please, sisters, lift your hands. I want to pray a very powerful prayer for our sisters. The devil will prefer to get one woman to ten men because a woman is a gate in the realm of the spirit. I tell you, no power will stand there. Something is about to jump out of somebody's life. Ah, yeah, yeah. Break every chain. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Let her go right now. Your destiny must open up. In the name of Jesus Christ. Break every chain. Lift your hands, sisters. There are many ladies here under several oppressions. That's why many things are not working. But sisters, as surely as the Lord lives, at the count of three, I'd like you to shout Jesus. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you. Are you ready? One, two, three. Deliverance for you right now. Deliverance. Help them, my goodness. Please help them. Gates, 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 be broken, gates, be broken, Papataya, gates, be broken, gates, be broken, gates, be broken. I'm praying it again. Lift your hands. Ay, ay, ay. Every devil that came here with you must let you go. Lift your hands. There are sisters. There is already a programming on your destiny to fail. A programming to be barren. Who is this God that can look into time? Wherever they are, at the count of three, may the power of God fish them out. One, two, three. Take that fire. 
take that fire take that fire i open your destiny every lady every sister you are a gate you are a gate in the realm of the spirit Mighty deliverance, mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough, mighty breakthrough is over, is over, is over by the power of the Holy Ghost. Over, over, over. Break every chain. Break every chain. Yeah. Break every chain. Hallelujah. Now I want to pray for the brothers. Lift your hands. Listen, let me tell you. There is a spirit that makes men not to be productive. Hear me. Is a, is, is a mighty deliverance that will happen to many men right now. Pay attention. There are men who are just going old. There's nothing happening in their lives. It's not your fault. There are keys that have been withheld from you. But that thief must be exposed. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Ancestry. That's the first thing we are dealing with the brothers. Brothers, lift your hands. I want to pray. Many of you will be surprised to see what happens. Every spirit of ancestry, every spirit of inheritance over any brother here, stopping his advancement at the count of three, some of you will be very surprised. That fire will come on you. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. That fire. Help them, please. Help them. My goodness. Kaparata kata. Brothers are coming under this unction. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Help them. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. I cast that spirit. Hallelujah. God does this all the time. And I don't know why God is doing this again. <laughs> ah. If he did it before, he can do it again. Say Listen, I see something strange happening. Strange happening. Strange happening in the spirit. And I'm seeing the spirit of the Lord moving. And God is saying he's visiting Easternans. Easternans, evil people. That's what I'm seeing. There are altars that need to be broken. Please pay attention. I'm about to pray right now. Wherever they are, always he will do it. You are from the east, get set. Be sensitive. Come on, you shouldn't be doing that. Shaparato kaparatia. Isanans. Lord, wherever they are, it will come like fire on you. You will be surprised to see what will happen to you now. The Spirit of God goes to the east. The Spirit of God goes to the east and is bringing deliverance. Deliverance. Strange deliverance. Evil people. Strange deliverance by the power of the Holy Ghost is visiting your soil, visiting your foundation, visiting your soil. If it did it before, it could do it again. Same God back then, same God right now. 
if he did it before. Abia, 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 Abia said, Shakata Barata, Abia, Abia, the Spirit of God is moving across Abia, miracles, breaking foundations. If he did it before, he can do it again. Same God back then. Hallelujah. Many of you wonder why God does these things. There are signs and wonders. He steps into, you will see the testimonies that will come from this thing. Strange visitation. Lift your hands, everybody. Joshua Selman. God, please. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm walking in the spirit and I see a map. And the Lord is asking me to jump upon it. And I see Kaduna. Southern Kaduna. That's what I see. Right now, Lord, at your word, move. Southern Kaduna. Visiting men and women. That's what the spirit of God is saying. I speak it. I place the word of God upon it. Lord, go to that region right now. Southern Kaduna. Southern Kaduna from Saminaka to Zonkua. Everywhere. Move. Let the power of God touch people. Liberty for territories. Liberty for territories. No matter where you are, I'm telling you, Southern Kaduna, fire is falling. Fire is falling upon your soil. Upon your soil, Southern Kaduna, Southern Kaduna, that's what I see. Southern Kaduna, connected to Southern Kaduna, there is a miracle happening. Altars in Southern Kaduna, I come against you by this apostolic and prophetic mantle. Leave God's people now. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you this operation of the Spirit. I found it working in my life is powerful. God just calls a territory, and everyone is like a digital spiritual system, it's not something you just do by guesswork. It's the spirit of God. The spirit of God. The spirit of God. God is still touching Kaduna people. I'm still hearing it in my spirit. God is still touching Kaduna people. There's no escape. Any family tied to any altar comes under fire. Any Kaduna family married to Kaduna living in Kaduna state Hallelujah. Please lift your hands while still pray. I want to pray for students now. Something miraculous will happen here now. I want to pray for students because I see conspiracy to short circuit people's performances. I'm going to pray. But there is a God in heaven with an all-seeing eye. And there is an unction he can release. I'm going to pray. Listen, let me tell you. You will be surprised to hear the testimonies that will come. 
the way God is working this night is very supernatural if the power of God comes upon you I want you to know that an angel is doing something over your result just hear what I'm saying hear what I'm saying I'm speaking by the spirit father there are people whose results need to be worked upon divinely and where are they I see almost 45 people right now at the count of three one results two three let the angels begin to move as they move it will affect you as the power of God touches you your result is being worked upon by the power of the Holy Ghost inside and outside results results carry over us receiving the mercy of God receiving the mercy of God God upgrading CGPS upgrading CGPS take it take it take it take it take it CGPS by the power of the Holy Ghost supernaturally by the creative power of prophecy receive it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Everything that has refused to let you smile, hear me? That joy and laughter will not come out of your mouth. I stand tonight in the name of Jesus. I bring that thing under fire. I bring it under fire. I bring it under fire. Shake a ta ta ta. I bring it under fire. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Just lift your hands and be silent if you can. A miracle is happening. A miracle is happening. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing letters in the spirit. And these are employment letters. Hold on. Just keep your hand. Just do what I'm asking you to do. You will be surprised. Many of you for you and for your loved ones. The Lord is just asking. Just lift your hand. Father, at least 17 people. Inside, outside, there are up to 5 people online. Supernatural jobs. May the angels of breakthrough take this word to the people right now. Right now, right now. Right now, receive it. Receive those letters in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. Receive it in the spirit. For you, for your loved ones. I don't care what they read. I don't care what they have. We give them jobs. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I see at least four people. Three of them are ladies in the congregation. Your mothers are due for promotion. But they've done everything they know to do. As I'm speaking right now. An anointing will come upon you. To signify what he's doing to them. Lord go ahead. Locate them. Promotion. I force it. I force it now. I force that promotion. Take it. Carry it for your mothers. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. Whoever is sitting on their promotion. The judgment of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We're going to pray for the sick, but um, there are two women I want to pray for here. You are trusting God for the fruit of the womb. Now, I know there are many people. Listen, there are two women, particularly one of them, the anointing 
Uh, please, no standing for wife, no standing for anybody. If you are not the person, um, sit down. If you are not married, don't come here. Praise God. Please, the two women by themselves, I'm going to pray. That lady, oh, let me let me let me pray for her. That devil, let her go. Don't disturb us, don't waste our time. Out, out now. Out in the name of Jesus. I curse you by the God of heaven. In the name of Jesus. You are living. Release her family. Release her destiny right now. The noise maker. Out you go and don't waste her time in Jesus' name. I set her free in the name of Jesus Christ. Now, please listen. We are going to pray for those two women I don't know if there are here uh, two of them here, there's one of them um, I'm seeing one of them the anointing of the spirit is going to come upon her, I don't know who that person is but there's one, please we have such people, we have to be fast if I mention your case once we give you one minute, there's no response, we have to move so that God can help us, please except if they are outside there then that's alright a married woman that need the fruit of the womb we have to pray for them right now praise the lord how many of us are trusting god for healing miracles in our bodies let me see your hands i know many of our mothers are in this category no matter what the case is who is stand up come on down. the power of god will come upon that person please make sure they are married though Please stand up, stand up, madam. It's okay. Uh, madam, madam, it's okay. Please. Madam, look at me. Look at me. Look at me. How many years have you been married? 20 years. 20 years. No child. Look at me. 20 years. Madam, look at me. Look at me. It's okay. 20 years of marriage. If if that woman gave birth to a child by now, that's the other person, right? Wariness. Why am I seeing her? I'm seeing chains around her stomach. You must remove it now. Remove it now. You are a devil of darkness. You hear my voice. Take off that chains now. In the name of Jesus Christ. There's no such thing as barrenness. It's nonsense. When a spirit sits on your stomach, there's no way a child will come. If you like, do whatever. You go to India and come back. You only waste money. But there is a God. Madam, please look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you here with your husband? You came here for program. I'm a student here. And you decided to. Where is your husband? He's in Kafancha. We okay. reside in Kafancha. Okay, look at me, madam. He's a student here. Do you believe God can give you a child? I believe that's why I came. Believe that's why I came. It's okay, it's okay, madam. Look at me. Look at me, madam. Place your hand on your stomach. I want to pray. How many of us believe this woman will come and stand and testify? If you are doubting this, you've not been in Koinonia. Madam, look at me. I want you to shout as loud as you can, I receive. Just shout it. I This God, ba. Let me tell you, that is that is not working in your life does not mean it's not available. I've told you this thing. You have to believe there are dimensions in God. This woman you see will come and stand here with her child. Why is she here, madam? Why are you here? You are married for how many years? Give her the mic. How many years? Ten years. The anointing is on you. Lay your hands on your stomach. Look at me, madam. Shout, I receive, if you believe. I receive! 
There's something leaving your body now. Let it go. You are a devil. Let her go right now. Something is coming out of your stomach. That's what I'm seeing. That's what has stopped your barrenness. Go and have your child. In the name of Jesus. Go and have your child. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please let me pray. Madam, make sure you people return with your testimonies. Want to pray. Is your husband here? Husband, please come, sir. I want to pray for you. Marriage is between two people, not three people. I look in the spirit and I'm seeing three people. Somebody is a stranger in this equation. Please come, sir. I'm seeing a third person in the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. I'm seeing a third person in the realm of the spirit refusing to let this marriage work. The devil is a liar. We are going to pray. Please hold your hands together. Just in one of your hands. Yes, I want to pray. Please put your hand on your Watch what happens to you. <sighs> there is a name. Oh. There is a name. There is a name. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. Leave them. There is a name. Let her go. Strangers, Kabataya. What God has joined together, I'm prophesying. That's why I said, hold your hands. Anybody whose hand is not held physically should not be in this equation. Therefore, I prophesy. Any stranger, release what you are putting in her stomach now. I'm seeing a snake. That's what I see in the spirit. I'm looking and I'm seeing a serpent. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Kaparatakaya. Marriage was done legally. Therefore, you are an illegal occupant. Release her now. Let there be miracle children. Miracle children. I'm seeing a lady in the crowd. You are standing in for your sister who has been married for five years. Who is that? I want to pray for that person. Five years. Your sister has been married five years. No child. No child. You are the one. Where is she? What's her name? Deborah. Where is she? She's in How many years? Five years. No child. No child. My brother, six years. And you, the devil, wants to give you four years. Or we'll cancel it. Destiny changer. You are the destiny changer. Will you come and change my destiny? My, My destiny, destiny today. today. Love and change my destiny. My destiny today. Destiny changer. You are a destiny changer. Love and change my destiny. My destiny hold on. today. Please don't just come out at will. What's it? Hold on, hold on coordinate yourself. Who is this? Hold on, hold on. Leave them, leave them. It's okay. Victor, leave her. It's okay. Calm down. How many years? Nine years. Huh? Nine years. Where is she? She's in Adarembauchi. Kiki Amata. Is that the same we Amen. Why are you here, my dear? She has been having miscarriages. For how many years? Yes. Three years. Mm. Her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? Did you hear what I said? I said her husband wants a boy, she wants a girl. Who will win? The man is the head of the family. See? This thing is being done by an anointing. It's not, it's not, it's not joke. It's an anointing. Look at me. Listen, every lady, place your hand on your womb. I want to pray for you. Just, just place your hand and leave it there. Hold on, not not for the brothers. Brothers, you don't have a womb. Just calm down. I know I'm praying for the sisters. That's why I'm praying. Because you see, listen, <laughs> just follow what I'm doing. You will be surprised to see what will happen. The Bible, the Bible does not allow you. 
to test whether you are pregnant first before you marry. Is that true? So there is no way you know. You just marry and then find out. It's a disaster for a man, a family to pay the price, pay dowry and get married. And then there's that nonsense. So lay your hands. I want to pray for you. Let's attack it in advance. If you care for the prayer, lay your hands. For some of you, God is saving you years of misery. I'm seeing a number 21. And this is at least 21 people and families involved. Father, visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. I'm praying a miracle is happening to your womb. Visit them now. Visit them now. Visit them now. Right now, every thing that wants to plant barrenness in your stomach for every lady here and those watching online I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus I command it to leave you right now in the name of Jesus my dear look at me hold that baby you Ejimi please give her that child just hold her so she doesn't fall just hold that baby you are holding this child as a prophetic symbolism for your sister, for you when you get married, and for every other person, and for two other people who are in the congregation. This prophecy is connecting them. Where are they, oh God? Where are they, oh God? The anointing of the Spirit will locate them now. Right now, two of them in the congregation for this miracle, for this miracle, for this miracle. Daddy, sir, please let me talk to you. Just give a few minutes. You and the madam close to you. Mommy, please come. You are an usher, but you are praying. Come. Let God answer your prayers. This lady is talking to the Lord. What was the issue? It's my sister. You are asking the Lord to do what? Yes, sir. She has put to bed in time. But none of them is alive. Because I'm seeing a spirit. As soon as she's giving birth. This is like an antelope. It eats the children. As in, it's the child. Sometimes most of the children will grow. Nine months you give birth. Then they will last for only a few minutes. And they will die. Hold my hands. Where is she? Don't, don't cry. Don't cry. Where is she? What's her name? Ladi. Ladi. Ladi will speak to you. Lay your hand on your stomach. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we declare that this, this, this frustration is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. That is, I want to pray for you. Mama, good evening, ma. Just please stand up. Who is the stubborn child that you want God to touch? Lift his picture up. Victor, Victor. This is your number one prayer. The one you want to marry. Where is the person? The one you want a job for that graduated. Job, job. The one that graduated. The graduate. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Henry. Mama, this is to tell you that God knows your situation. I hear what I'm saying. Yes, sir. This boy needs to be prayed for. So yes. that this boy, so that they will not go and lock him in police station. Yeah? This, I don't know who the boy is, but... Let it stop on, sir. That's what I'm saying, madam. It's okay. You are here for God to visit you. Amen. Amen. Who is Nonso? Nonso. Nonso. I'm hearing the name Nonso. We are going to pray. Nonso. Mama. We are going to pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Eh? That is Solomon. He want to marry. He's he planning for his wedding, sir. Okay, it's all right. We'll, we'll pray for him. In the name of Jesus Christ, Mama, I pray for you. You came here expecting the power of God to touch you. Exactly. Huh? Yes, sir. Mama. Do you want the pain in your body to stop? Yes, sir. You wake yes, up in the Lord. morning and there's severe pain yes, in your Lord. back. Sir, you know about this thing. I know, sir. 
earth. And the Lord is going to do a great miracle for Mama. Amen. Because Mama, I'm seeing you. You can't wash for long. Yes, you bend down to wash and your back is pain. Thank you, Father. In the I name of that. Jesus Christ, the Lord who has seen you is going to do a miracle Amen. for you. I command by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Help Mama you, in Father. Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank Please, you, don't. who is this? Huh? No, so, my friend, are you not so? Help the boy, his trouser is removing. Who is that? Who brought him out? Maybe we should help him now. <laughs> Sir, I want to pray for you. I want to pray for you. What do you do, sir? I'm the proprietor of his school. I'm a pastor. I'm a civil engineer by training. You own a school? I do, sir. Primary school? Nursery and primary. Nursery and primary? Yes, sir. You've been afraid to start the secondary school? Seriously, sir. Is that true? I've been afraid. Because what is happening in the primary, up and down, up and down, people are taking their children out of your school. And they are owing money. And they are owing money. And you are trusting God for a miracle. Because you too, you need a lot of money now. As you are standing here like this, you need money. But sir. And this money is much. Don't collect loan. Don't collect loan. Loan is a way to die. Time to destiny. Don't collect loan. Sir, I want to pray for you. One of the things you are going to start seeing as you minister the word is breakthrough. You will start seeing strange breakthroughs. Amen. In the lives of people. Amen. And then we want to pray for your school, sir. Things are going down. What you need is not money. What you need is very qualified teachers who are really willing to teach you. Because the people there, they will come today, a few months, they want to leave. And when they, you know, they want, I will have to pray for you. The devil is a liar. Please lift your hands, sir. Father, I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. Let the anointing for speed come upon you, sir. Supernatural speed. In the name of Jesus Christ. Grace and speed for you. Mama, God bless you. Please, who is this? Please, if we have not called your case, just be patient. We are going to pray for the sick now. Why is mama here? Mommy, please come. Huh? Your son's name is Nonso. What's your name? Nonso. From where? When I'm from state. You are a student here? No. Dark. Who is Shidi? I'm hearing the name Shidi. Shidi. Chidi, let me pray for the person now. Mama, I'm going to pray for you. Uh, what you need, this one is not, I'm not even getting any word for your son also. What God is saying, I should prophesy to you, is that he's bringing restoration to your life. God is saying, I should tell you, you see that song that I sang at the beginning of the meeting? Yes, we are I'm speaking how, sir, it's finished. That's what God is saying, I should tell you. That is going to bring restoration to your life. Supernatural restoration right now. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Hold my hands. Honestly, I'm not getting any prophetic word for you. But in the name of Jesus, may God step in and do a miracle for you. Come, come and get something. You need to pray. Huh? You need academic breakthrough. Receive that grace in Jesus' name. Please, why are these people here? Huh? John. You are serving in Musa. Have you started serving? Yes. In the place where? Let's pray for you. Father, give him favor. As you go, let there be favor in Jesus' name. Amen. You are what? John. John. Yes. From where? Zaria. I said, Sam, Father John. But since you have come out, let me pray for you. Yeah? Lay your hands on your chest. You love God? Yes. Okay. John. John, look at me. Please. God can give you a new beginning. You hear what I'm saying? Please, when I make altar call, John, run and join them. Huh? 
I'm going to pray for you, but that statement you made is not true. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. Because you see, you have to be serious with God. Oh God, help John in the name of Jesus Christ. I pray. She's older than she actually is. Huh? And there is a there is there is a medical condition. This is a feminine thing that I'm seeing that is responsible for this. Um can I change help, sir? Yeah? Yes, sir. Okay, Turen Shima, you, you understand English. I'm seeing happy birthday on top of you, and I'm seeing 50 years. How old are you? Shakaran Kina. Upon me on 66. 66. 1966. How old is that? 50 This woman is 50, but she's looking like 70. The devil is a liar. Huh? I'm seeing something. It's not something I can say in the open, but you need to be healed. And um, this thing started happening to you since soon you were about 17 years. Abunyafaramiki. Look at Skiko. Yes, about 17 years this thing started this is a serious woman issue this is women talk father we cancel this nonsense in the name of Jesus Christ it must live in Jesus name beginning from today experience the goodness of God in Jesus name may the Lord favor you too in Jesus name we want to pray for the sick now please this is our miracle service bear with us we have to deal with these things you see that there are so many there are so many situations. We are praying. Everyone, you can be seated if you can or stand. We are soon going to be done. But I want us to pray. Are we together? Say after me, inside and outside, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Please say it like you are serious. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. That every closed gate. Every closed gate standing before my destiny. Under this corporate anointing, swing open now. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Please, we are not just whiling away time. Pray, participate in the prayer. Some of us, that's what is that's what is affecting our lives. Every gate, every gate, every gate, every gate. Every gate. Over my finances, over every area of my life, be open now. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Prayer point number two I will still prophesy it upon your life. Say in the name of Jesus, I call forth by the power of prayer every helper who will give me access to resources, to opportunities, and to new levels. I call them into my destiny. Lift your voice and pray. This is a powerful prayer. It's a very powerful prayer. Hallelujah. 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 I'd like you to prophesy and say in the name of Jesus. Shout it in the name of Jesus. As I enter these ember months, I declare that the mystery of divine preservation is upon my life no death no accident no bad news lift your voice and cancel bad news make sure you are praying some of you are just looking pray it's a very serious prayer point no 
bad news. I speak upon my life. The mystery of divine exemption. Outside, outside, don't be tired. You're working out your salvation with fear and trembling. Before we pray on the request, I'd like you to pray and say, In the name of Jesus, Abba. Now, let's be serious. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. September, September. October. October, November, November. December. Hear my voice. I speak to you. Deliver to my life. Only blessings. No pain. 
no sorrow, no, sorrow. no, regrets. no regrets. Go ahead and prophesy. Release power to your future. Release power to September. You shut your mouth, you shut your destiny. Release power to September. Papa to Soto Ketema. Release power to October. Release power to November. December. No plane crash. No bus crash. No armed robbery. No terrorism. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus I declare A covering Over me And my family members Wherever they are The seal of the blood Exempts them from tragedy Listen I shared some months ago Hold on I shared some months ago a vision that the Lord showed me. I'm not one person who will stand and say, I saw this. Sometimes I see these things. I just pray. But it was upon my spirit and I said it. Remember, I spoke about the month of September. Everything you see us do here is prophetic. As you speak, it looks like you are joking. But you are releasing power to your future. He said, declares thou that he might be justified. Hast thou commanded thy morning? You don't sit down and it delivers everything to you. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Say in the name of Jesus. The seal of the blood is upon my life and my family members. Therefore, every spirit of death and loss and disaster must pass over my life and my family. Lift your voice and pray. No, not upon my life. Not upon my loved ones. They are sealed by the mystery of the blood. No accident. No accident. No death. No obituary. No plane crash. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Stretch your hands towards this prayer request and begin to turn your request to testimonies. Go ahead. All those online, follow us. We are praying. You submitted your requests and we are praying. Every request. Oh God, you have produced testimonies. Shaba katata. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. To the God that answers prayers. Let there be miracles, testimonies, breakthroughs. Turn around impossible situations, oh God. Let the body come back to children. Let the poor return rich. Let the captive be set free. Let sinners come to the saving knowledge of Jesus. Let your prayers be delivered. Let the sick be healed. Let jobless people return to jobs. Building projects completed. Spiritual lives be fired. Pray, pray. I'm going to prophesy upon this request and I want us to agree with a resounding amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Father, we declare, I use this as a point of contact. Lord, there are so many requests here representing the challenges in people's lives. Some for jobs, some for marriages, some for children. Some for breakthroughs. Some for study um, scholarships. Others for help. 
others for reconciliation others for souls others for financial prosperity and breakthrough others for restoration some for deliverance others for healing lord i pray in the name that is above all names we have a covenant of answered prayers with you therefore lord arise as a mighty man and turn every prayer request to a testimony in the name of jesus lord we pray for all those who have sent their requests on facebook on twitter on any other platform lord in the name of jesus give them strange visitations strange visitations from tonight strange visitations and lord for every request that made it to this altar i bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ and i pray answer everyone in the name of jesus On every request to a testimony in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.
dearly beloved i hope you were blessed by this message i want you to keep doing something for this man of god our man of god apostle joshua salmon and that is i want you to keep on praying for him that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then don't forget to like this video. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here. Don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing, keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing Jesus. I'll see you again. Bye.